Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to add a sun in Adobe Photoshop. So we're gonna be adding a sun like this. We can also add one in, in a shot like this, and you'll see that it's a subtle effect, but that's what makes it look realistic, is it looks like an actual sun with a lens flare. So let's get started on this. It is not too hard to actually pull off. First off, import a background layer, something you're gonna be working with. I got this off of Envato Elements, a subscription-based service for downloading a near unlimited amount of stock footage and photos. Check it out in the link description below. So first things first, we need to create ourselves a new layer. So we're gonna go up to Layer, New, and instead of going to right here where we just go to New Layer, we're gonna go down to New Fill Layer, and we're actually gonna to go to Gradient. We can name this the Sun, and we'll start off with this gradient. Now, what I like to do is take this gradient fill and move it off your image, and I'll show you why here in a second. Double click on this gradient, and then we are ready to go. Now, what we wanna do is on this left side, this is where our sun's gonna be at the very center. I like to use colors from the actual clip that we're using, if you have a sun at least somewhere in the vicinity. Otherwise, just choose a yellow or something near what I'm gonna choose. But you can see we do have this yellow over here, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. I'll click on this first, then click on it. And now you can see our yellow sort of matches. So this is going to be our base, the center of our sun. We want it near this white hot and somewhere in the yellow to red range, depending on time of day, things like that. So just sort of adjust it based off what your photo is looking like. So we want near that white and sort of into the, this little area right here, sort of in this little box. We're going to click OK. Now we're going to add another one next to it. And this one's going to be sort of where we get that darker color. So we're going to move outside of the white a little bit towards that darker orange and then we can even move this a little bit to, to create a, a color change there and you can see at the bottom here it looks like white sun transitioning into sort of an orange outside we can create another one and we want to keep that transition moving so a little more orange a little more red and you can do this as much as you want to sort of create however you feel you know what it feels like proper to you I usually like to do a few colors like this. I think this is actually looking pretty good. And then one color to sort of blend it. So out here, we're gonna actually choose a color, like let's say this blue right here. And you can see it blends into that sky really nicely. And so that is how we want it to do. Now, if you'll notice, we can see through the white and the red almost immediately, but the sun is really, really bright. And the reason we can see through is that we start at 100 opacity here and go down to zero, which means that here it's already at 90, 75, etc. We just wanna, boost up our opacity a little bit. So we're gonna click here, type 100 in the opacity, and this is gonna make the transition start happening from outside of this color change, maybe just in a little bit. But that means the white hot is gonna not be see-through at all, and that is what we want to make sure that we capture. So now that we have our sun ready, we click OK. Um, you can have, obviously this is not a sun. So we're gonna go over to our style and go to radial. Radial is gonna now make it into a circular uh, sort of gradient, which means it's gonna look like a sun now. So we're then gonna take this and move it to where we want. In this particular case, you wanna match the, the angle of the current sun. For example, if there are shadows leaning this way on a very bright sunny day, for uh, we can actually, let me place this for a second so I can show you. In this particular sun, if you notice these shadows on the ground, they go this way. They come to the right here. So if we place the sun on the right side, even though it's blue and it's beautiful here and that might look better for the sun, People are gonna see it's fake. They're not gonna know why, but they're gonna just feel like it's a fake image. And later on, if they're really examining, they said, oh, the, the shadows go the same direction. So we wanna make sure that we create something realistic here. So we're gonna move it to the right over here in where the sun actually is. I'm gonna go ahead and double click on this gradient layer to get back into the menu, and now I can move it again. So we're gonna put it right over here. Last thing we wanna do is we wanna change its blending mode to either soft or hard light depending on the scene. In this particular scene, soft light dodges too much and it almost looks like I didn't add it. Hard light works a little bit better. So now we've added the hard light in and you can, you know, after you've done this, move it around again to see where it fits. It's actually kind of really beautiful right here. And I think we can get away with the sun being right here. So we're gonna put it right there. You can see this with this, the, uh, the hard light here, it's actually making that cool reflection through the buildings like you might actually see. So we're gonna do it right there. Now, we need to then create a new layer. So we're gonna go back up to layer. We're gonna go down to new fill layer again. We're gonna go with a solid color. So this is gonna be our flare. So we can just quickly name this flare. Go down into your black, click okay. Now we're gonna add the lens flare onto this. So we're gonna go up to filter, down to render, over to lens flare. 
convert it to a smart object. It's just going to make it just how it works in this Photoshop. Um, now, you'll notice that there's no background here. So this is a bit of a point and guess thing. I don't know why it's like this. But click OK. Once the flare is created, we're going to go make sure you have the top layer selected. Go to Screen. It's kind of fun cycling through all these. But we're going to go to Screen. And now we need to just do a little adjustment. So go. you want to double click on the lens flare down here and just sort of move it. We're a little to the left here, so we're going to go a little bit more to the right and down. Almost there, just a tiny more to the right, and we should be where we want to be. Perfect. So now we have created our sun. It's peeking through the buildings. It's creating this. Uh, you're actually eclipsing this building right here. You've got the flare across, which you would see in an actual camera. You've got the color change. We have created our sun. If you want to, a good final step here is to highlight both of these and hit Control G to group them together. That way you can turn them on and off and you have your sun ready to go. That is how you add a sun in Adobe Photoshop. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and thumb in the comment section below on our website, adobemasters.net. If you'd like to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and that subscribe button. I make videos on all the Adobe products. Until next time, everyone, see you later. <laughs>